Welcome to our new video and we're going to create a bay window similar to this one here. Just as a few notes, um, set up some levels ready and on each of these views here for level 0 and level 1 I've edited the view range of them so that I can see exactly what is on that level just to make it a bit clearer. And then in your project browser if you go down to your families, curtain wall millions, I've duplicated the 50 by 150 and created a 60 by 80 and made the material a white plastic. If you haven't got the white plastic material, just uh, duplicate the black plastic and change the properties of it. OK, so that just gives us a little basis to start with. Now I'm going to just quickly use a model line by here and move that outwards. And this will give me the gauge for how large I want the bay to be um, sticking out from the wall. So I'll use that as just a guide, temporary guide, which I'll then delete afterwards. All right, so I've got that in place. Now I'm going to use wall commands, just the basic wall. I haven't created a new one for this. Level 0, finish face exterior, um, and check your height as well there, level 1. So let's start this. Make sure you get the angle correct. I'm going for 45 degrees, so that can click on there. Then I want it to be, um, say, 15 or 1800. Go on, we'll do 1800 across there. And then come back down in at 45 degrees again until we meet that one. OK. So that's the start of it. Let's just have a little look at that in 3D. So we can see this bay is a bit wider than the one I did previously. Um, all right. So next, we want to have a little look at creating some of these other elements. So it would be a good place to start with the actual uh, curtain wall, which is what we're going to use for creating the window. So let's jump to level one this time. Zoom out. There it is. Oh, I can just go to level zero a second and delete that model line. So that's out the way. And now wall and curtain wall, OK. So level one up to level two, that's fine. I'll line this up with the middle. There we go. All right, so we end up with something like that. Now you'll notice my one, I've already got the properties of the, um, the wall in there. So oh, we did. let's go have a look at it 3D instead. What If you haven't got the millions in yours yet, all you've got to do is just click on each wall, edit type, and now just select the million types that you want, which is the ones we've just created. And you'll end up with this frame around by here. And just double checking. And that's, yep. Yeah. OK. Next, we will want to add some extra millions, as we can see. We've got those ones by there. So let's do that. And we'll do that from an elevation view. Oh, now I've got all these level markers in the way here. So let's just edit this. Try and get these out of the way a bit. Right, that's better. OK. There we go. So now we can select the size and the position of these millions. 
like so. So that was on the architecture and curtain grid. There we go. Just get those on each of those faces like that, making sure the distances are all the same. And then, of course, we can get one in the middle by here as well. Midpoint, but I don't want this one to go all the way, so I'm just going to delete that one and pin it, delete it. And uh, we can add remove segments. So I'll just click there and then escape, and that's tidied that up. We also notice this one here. If we use these little symbols, we can have it as an inset piece by there rather than how it was a second ago. So that gives us the actual shape of our windows. Let's now have a little look at our sill. OK, so what we're going to do for the sill is jump back to level zero and we're going to create a um, extrusion going around there, but we can do it as a sweep. So this is going to be a model in place, but I think it would be handy for us to have a section to be able to see it a bit better. So let's get the section at the right angle. There we go. Uh, I prefer it to face that way. And let's jump across to our new section. There we go. And now we're going to do architecture component model in place. And we've got to pick a model for this. So I think I'll just do a generic model. There we go. And this is going to be sill day. And we want a sweep. So let's do the sketch path first of all. And we will swap across to level one. And draw the path. So I'll just use the pick lines. Trim them together. And then take this to the end of our window by there. And likewise, the same on this side. And tick that. Now we'll edit the profile, jump back to our section we've just created. And we can just draw the shape of the windowsill by here. So that's that edge there. I'll take this across. I'll just do a little drip. need it to be quite like that. And whatever. We really need that one. Well, I've got that one, so I'll just tidy that up. Okay, so there's our profile, and we can tick there and change the material to your white plastic that we've already created, and finish model, have a little look in 3D, and there's our windowsill nicely running around. Now we're going to draw the opening top light on our window by here. So we're going to go to architecture component model in place. I'll just zip down and there's a window by there. I'll just use that one. Click on that, change it to opener, give it another name if you wish. A sweep. I'm going to use pick path rather than sketch path. 
And this allows me to pick the edges, which is much easier then because I can do that in the 3D mode. So I'll just pick the outside edges of that one and use the uh, trim command just to make it a nice neat square. And tick. Now we want to jump across to our section so we can see the line of it there on the outside of the window. We're going to edit the profile. So now we can actually draw the profile of our little window. So I'll just start off here with a 25 mil there. And that can just be 10 mil like so. And I'll come back round to that then. And then I'll take this across on the inside. And we'll go for the 70 mil by the way. I mean, this is not exactly the profile it would be, but this just gives you a general idea. There we go. And I'll give it an extra thing by there, bring it up here a bit. Have a little chamfered edge to it like that. Okay, and tick. And again, white plastic. Finish the model, let's little look at that in 3D, and there you go. And you can then repeat that for each of the windows, or with the ones on the front, you could just copy them across as well. So next is these little corner bits by here. As we can see, we got these little wedges which are missing. So I'll jump to level one. And if we zoom in on one of those corners, we can see that quite clearly by there. So again, let's just go architecture component, model in place. This one, um, again, generic model is fine, whichever you feel happiest with. And I'll call this um, corner of B. Say OK. This one's just going to be a straight extrusion. And, and Extrusion start, well that's 1050 high, which is actually fine. So zero would be the base level. And we'll just quickly use the line command and draw around this little corner by here. Like that. Uh, material, oop, let's change that from plaster to the white plastic. There we go. Tick. Look at that in 3D. As you can see, it neatly fills that little gap. And we're going to create an opening in the wall behind the bay and then tidy up the opening afterwards. So what we're going to do, click on this wall. We'll jump to our north elevation. And I'm going to use the actual wall opening command because this is actually a little bit easier for what I'm trying to do here. And I will just... Um, to that and just line it up by here and we'll do the final adjustments in a minute we'll say unjoin so let's look at that quickly in 3d we can see we got a big hole by there at the moment all right um need to just tidy that up let's um, go to the level zero and we can actually click on the opening, drag it down, make sure it completely cuts that out the way or just tidy it so that it's level with the base. All right. And uh, go to north elevation. See, I could actually just do that on here just to make sure I get that accurate. And then just check there. Okay, so that looks all right. Let's jump back to here. 
and I'm going to take this out beyond where they would meet at the 45 degree angle and again and join do the same on this side say and join okay let's have a little look again in 3d we can see that we got that big hole now there all right I'm getting there slowly let's jump back to level zero we'll click on these walls grab the blue dot just drag it a bit and see how it joins it together and likewise we should be able to do the same on this side there we go now when we look at that in 3d that looks much better for an entrance into a bay window okay now what we will have a problem with is our um, windows we've probably got them in the wrong positions so up level one now yours might be further against the wall here but i've just modified mine a little bit but i'm going to modify them a bit more so first thing i do is model line from this corner just out here and that would be my guide uh, oh, there it is keeping the angle correct 45 degrees what I want to do by here is a little wall same wall construction base level one top level two finish face exterior click there and get it to line up with that model line and there we go all right so that gives us the wall at that section which we can see just by there which looks much better okay but we can see the windows in the wrong position so i'll just jump back and modify that on level one so that's a fairly straightforward thing to modify there we go and the windowsill as well we can just modify that and um, before we do that i'd do both sides at once all right get the brickwork done on the other side so go on we'll do that while we're at it finish face exterior and what we'll do is we'll draw the model line again over here so we've got that guide that model line a bit longer because now it's having trouble selecting it I could just hide that element for a second enable me to select that and then just reset there we go okay so we've now got those walls in the correct places which looks much better let's jump to level one we'll put the windowsill on the inside at this point so again that's component model in place i'll just do another generic model and we'll call it internal sill extrusion fairly straightforward this one so we can just start by there and just go around I'm going to use the offset and just have a 30 mil offset Oop, no that's not going to quite work all right so what i'll do i'll measure from here to here 105 and then i'll do an offset of 135 and if that's that's better and then just finish that off from there to there, there to there okay so extrusion um 
start and end. OK, so we're going to start it at 0 and end this one at 30. So it should be starting at zero level 1, ending 30 mil above it. And white plastic again, that's fine. Tick. Let's check it in 3D. Looks like it's in the right place. OK, going back to the outside now, what we're going to do is just tidy up these reveals by here. So I'm going to use the split face all right, on the Modify tab and click that, highlight the face that we're going to change. There we go. It's outlined in orange. Just use a nice little rectangle now. I'm going to start in the top corner, come down to the bottom, zoom in a bit and just be somewhere in the window and just a little bit above the base. That's fine. Now, what I'm going to have to do by here, because it does have to lie within the boundary, is zoom in. And I'm just going to drag that in a little bit and that one up there. So the idea is we just want these gaps to be so small they're barely noticeable. And we'll try that. There we go. That's fine. All right. So now what I'm going to do is actually paint the surfaces. So go paint uh, plaster. Let's click on that one there. So now we've got a plaster on the inside, which looks nice. And I'm going to go then for brick. Uh, select the same brickwork that's used on the wall and paint that surface with brick. So now that just looks a bit nicer by there. And we could repeat that onto this side over here as well. There we go. And then we'd want to just split the face of this one to repeat that. Like so. Zoom in on the top corner just to tidy these up. And then, of course, we can paint that one with the plaster again. There we go. And you can just zoom in a bit more and get those little edges just a bit tidier if you wish to. OK. Um, and then, like I said, once you've stuck your roof on that, that's basically your bay window done. And there is a traditional bay window um, all done and dusted. What you can do then is actually highlight all of the elements. Oop, ignore that. Uh, cancel. Oops, nearly went wrong there. Carefully highlight your bay window. And you could actually then save it as create a group OK, and then you could name it your bay window. So if you've got more than one identical bay window, um, you can then yeah, I'll just cancel that because I've already done it. But yeah, you can just duplicate that bay window bay group then throughout. So basically, that is how you would create your bay window. I um, hope you've enjoyed watching.